Hey folks, Bodine52 here. We got mail. It is my new helmet. I uh, wanted to make sure that I open this up in front of all of you, show you what I got, and then later in the video, I'll actually show you me switching my moto vlogging equipment uh, to this new helmet. We know I got some safety problems with the knife, but I think I'll be okay. This came yesterday. I did uh, order this through and found it at Cycle Gear. Cycle Gear, we have one here locally. Had to order it to get the right color and size, and it just arrived. Cycle Gear right there. Check them out. I'm sure you know Cycle Gear by now. All right. So let's see what is in the box. Ah. Looky there. It's a showy. Nice. Nice. I wonder how many people call it showy. All right. So we got it. Let's uh let's open up the box and see what we have here. This is a pin lock. I actually did look at this as I was doing a lot of research on it. And this uh, clear uh, piece goes inside, as you can see, inside uh, uh, the visor. Uh, kind of clips in, so if you're using a different visor, you can pull it in and out. It's supposed to be uh, stop the fogging uh, up. So a real look forward to that. I know a lot of people use this and like it, so I'm glad that uh, that is there. And... We got some some gear here with uh, instruction manual, but I'm a dude, so I'll never look at that. And let's bring out the helmet. Make sure the one came that I expected. There we go. There she is in a, uh, a basslet gray, uh, which I've always done black, so I decided to go another way, be a little more visible. But uh, this is the showy helmet, so let me get this up on, uh, on the desk. And uh, happens to be an RFSR, by the way, an RFSR. And uh, I'll get that up on the desk, and, uh, and let's walk through it. All right, folks. Got my new showy helmet out here, which I uh, am super excited about. As many of you know, I'm going to Bike Week here in uh, just about a month, so I thought I'd get upgraded before then. So let us start by taking off this plastic. There we go. And just kind of give you a really good look at the at the helmet. You know, um, does have a couple vents up here, which is good, as well as right here. You know, one of the things that's going to be different, and I'll show you that here in a few, is I do use a Senna 10C uh, for uh, video and voice, especially when I'm talking to Mrs. Bodine. Uh, but I've recently gotten a GoPro 7 that I've been having on my chin um, that has been a challenge with mics, and I'll talk about that later. But I've finally decided that I'm going to use the GoPro 7 for video and the Senna 10C for the audio and then just kind of mix those together. So I will have to find another place to mount that, uh, probably here and kind of sticking out here. So really like this from the look of it so far. There are some... Uh, uh, exit venting, I guess, if you will, here. And again, it is an RFSR, Snell approved, uh, DOT certified. So that's awesome. And um, really, really uh, like the look of this thing. Um, you know, the color at the end of the day didn't matter that much to me. It does have these emergency pull-offs in case for some reason that uh, you were in some sort of accident and they needed to make sure that your neck was... Uh, 
braced and they need to get the helm off you can pull this off this whole uh this whole thing sticks out you're probably not going to be, be able to see it as well but there are two uh insert areas here that you can put the speakers in for anything obviously i will be putting this in a 10c speakers in there uh and it looks like it's going to be a really easy mount so i'm excited about that and um you know, I just I just love this thing. So you know what? Let me slip it on and let's uh, let's take a peek. Alrighty, hopefully you got a good look at this. Um, feels extremely comfortable. Not a lot of turn in it. So happy with that. Visor down. Everything looks good. Boy, I'll tell you what. This feels uh, feels nice. I will tell you one thing that uh, I did learn is. A lot of folks don't necessarily like the the snap because it's a little higher, so I'll have to get used to that. But it's uh, it's no big deal. Obviously, a good quality helmet doesn't break the bank like many helmets, but uh, I'm happy with it so far. So let's look at uh, let's look at the rest of the gear with the helmet. So a couple things that you do need to do with the helmet, or you can do with the helmet, um, is it really comes with two things, or a couple things, right? Of course, a sticker. Go figure um it it comes with this what's called a breath guard and this does help um from making sure that you uh aren't fogging up uh reduces the fogging of the shield and the visor even though you have this pin lock on here so i am going to go ahead and, and install that just to make sure that uh, uh i put it in the condition that they say and then i'll modify it from there if i see that see uh see the need to and then they have uh what's called this chin curtain um, which is really reduces the influx of the air and the wind noise in the helmet around the chin area. So uh, I think I'm going to install this too. So I'm assuming that's going to help with audio um, uh, as I motor on the days that I'm motor vlogging. So okay. So as you're taking the uh, the Pinlock Evo and putting that into the helmet and the shield, it's really pretty simple. This is the uh, the pin lock itself you can see these two little spots right here and right here those basically go on here and here on the inside so you're actually going to put this up in and just click those on which is a little bit hard to do with uh um with the camera in my hand so i'm going to click those in take the uh, uh the film off it and then uh see what we got Okay, this is why as guys we don't read instructions. So forget the instructions. Take the shield off the helmet and slide it in that way and click it in. You're gonna have to manhandle it a little bit uh, just to make sure that it gets in there and clicked in good, but it's pretty tough to do uh, when you're playing with it up on the helmet. So that would be my advice. Let's throw it in. Again, a two second clip in when the shield's off, right? Just hit, put it in there. You do have to uh, to bend it a little bit, but you don't want to uh, uh, definitely don't want to be shy about that. So that is what the shield looks like. Again, it just sticks in here, right? Um, you want to actually make sure that the um, there's a little uh, gasket right here that that is actually on the inside. I just had it on the outside, by the way. So uh, just kind of clicks in there, right? And then you can take this off and you now have what's supposed to be anti-fog. So we'll have to see how that works when we get out on the bike. Let's get this back on the helmet. Now that we have the helmet all together, took about 10 minutes maybe at uh, max to put everything on. Um, really liking it. Uh, really look forward to getting it out on the bike with it. You know, whether you are a person that doesn't wear a helmet, a half helmet, um, a three-quarter helmet, or a full-face helmet, um, doesn't matter. I, I just happen to be a, a full-face helmet guy. I uh, feel more comfortable in it. I think it's better for motovlogging, and I uh, think I get plenty of air through it. So we'll see when I'm uh, in, down at Bike Week. <laughs> In, uh, in a month, whether I'm complaining about that and take that back or not, but excited about this. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure I get my moto vlogging equipment set up on it. So that will be next, but the first thing I'm gonna to have to do 
is get it off of my old HJC. So uh, I will uh, uh, be back here in a few and show you how I'm going to do that.